Hello there, everyone. My name is Oversoul. This is Oversoul Gaming, and welcome back to the Call of Cthulhu. Now, we were talking to this bartender, getting information out of him, and we're not done yet. We need to we need to keep talking to him. We need more information. Yoo-hoo, tender of the bar. Excuseth me. I must conversate with you. You again. Yes, I wasn't done. I just needed to end our conversation prematurely because I was out of recording time. <laughs> okay, um... I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first coma. Well, yeah. I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. Shh. Anything else? Well, I mean, you told me that it was a she, so that much... Do you know where this place is? Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around no. there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse Oh, at good. Night. Screams, that sort of thing. Screams? And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Just tell more. me where the damn thing is. Anything else? I just need to know how to get there. God. Oh, the order a drink, I guess. Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pick-me-up. Oh, yeah? That must have been before you came looking for a fight in my oh, bar. Oh, God, what do I have to... Oh, come on. Because of a little tussle. Drinking it here is a privilege, and I grant the privilege to whoever this I want. This is bad business. Anything else? Uh, tell me about your lovely town. About... Yeah, why the Stranded Whale? That's it. The Stranded Whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water. Dock water? When whalers left for long months and came back, sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. And tell me about Sarah Hawkins. What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. That sounds about right. Um, okay, that's that's uh, that's enough. I've got what I need for now. Anything we'll else? We'll just leave and do some more exploring. Like I said in the last episode, I don't want to waste a lot of time on this That'll dialogue be all stuff. Now. So, you guys were watching me earlier. What do you take of all? Think of all this? Hmm? What you looking at, stranger? Uh. Uh. I've rarely seen a woman who can hold her liquor so confidently. What gives you the right to judge me? Ah, it was a compliment. So what? <coughs> Let me drink, stranger. Okay, I'm so sorry. Damn. I'll just be on my merry way. Can I go this way? Can I leave? Oh, nope, I can't go. Okay. That's probably not the way to leave. Alright, let's go talk to Fitzroy. I want to get to... I want to get going with the story. Let's get to the next spook. Come on, damn it. I've brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. I mean the but in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. The table in front of me? When you're done, come join me on the deck. What table? Oh, he meant this table. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. That's all I'll get from them. Well, he said we'd be disappointed. So, uh, damn, he moved fast. He's on the dock, he said. That was quick. Oh, oh yep, there you are. From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. Mm -hmm. The hard-working lives of my sailors, the fights of the stranded whale. Even the antics of these wharf rats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving <coughs> captain on dark water. Tell me what I can do to help you. I need to get to the warehouse. 
Oh, your documents are unreadable. Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. Really? I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates, as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? Uh, what did Charles Hawkins really do for I him? know that Charles Hawkins was descended from a family of ship owners, and the island's fishing industry was hit badly. Indeed, we specialized in whaling, but no whalers went out to sea after the miraculous catch of 1847. So where did the Hawkins family get its money? Well, from what Charles inherited, I presume. Although, these dates on the manifests could indicate that he had contracts of another kind. With whom, I wonder? Very interesting. All right, where's the warehouse? I'm looking for Warehouse 36. Do you know where it is? Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. Oh. You can't miss it. Okay. Well, good to know. Understood. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? Whole reason I'm here. Uh, unlocked answer. I'm gonna use the unlocked answer. It belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. Alright. I shall be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. Oh, I will. Trust me, I will. As long as I don't die. I will be back. Good that this game has a sprint mechanic, but no. Please move back. Let the police do their work. Oh. Hey, Sullivan. Another Can't abandoned you whale. Faster? Have you seen how old this thing is? The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Only a specialist would know what killed it. And I ain't no Don't specialist. Put that beast back in so. The water, you shysters, you're crazy. All right, how would I get into this bloody warehouse? Evening, gents. I'm going to assume. Tell me. No, if it gets out, I'll have. It looks like they're blocking the way, so I'm assuming I have to. I bet that you hit them somewhere in your hut on the docks. How could you be dumb enough to leave the entrance to the warehouses unguarded? Keep your voice down. Why not go and shout at the cat while you're at it? I don't want to end up with her little knife under my throat. It's a stiletto, you idiot. And with that smell on your breath, I don't give you much chance anyway. So now I need to get into the warehouse. They said they left the entrance unguarded. So... Does that mean I can just get in the old-fashioned way? Direct... No? Hmm... Damnation, I broke it. Apparently, my lockpicking skills aren't very good yet. That must be, it looks like it was under the investigation character trait. Interesting. Very interesting. Hello, what have we here? A statue? Oh, occultism. St. Brendan. Patron saint of sailors and travelers. Oh. Desecrated. Looks like Phoenician. Or a very primitive runic script. I've never seen anything like it. Hmm. Okay, I couldn't find any entrance into the warehouse over there, so I'm assuming we need to go this way. So this is the way we shall go. I do like that the sprint is unlimited. It'll help us get to places quicker. To and around. Ah, oh, maybe this is it. Find hidden items. The spot hidden skill like this. It looks like there's a way in under this grate. Um. A whale vertebra. This place is full of junk. Hidden, hidden, hidden items. Aha! A handle. It must come from these old winches. Old winches. Now, how do I get up there? Ah, there's a ladder. 
Hopefully this will work. Yep. Good. I could use this. Uh, mount. Th there we go. Nope. Stop that! I just want to turn the damn thing. Are we not done? Oh. Ah, okay. A ratchet device. Exactly what I need. Is that... I don't think that's everything either, is it? Okay, got the ratchet device mounted. Still missing something. Oh. Cogwheel. Should be possible to mount this cogwheel on the winch. I think that's everything now, because the question mark has a check mark by it. So... And I do have a light source. Looks like I have a lighter. Didn't know that. And turn the handle. Looks like everything is in its place. All that's left is to try to turn this handle. Oh, good. I think we did it. Damn. I broke it. Oh. Well. Good job. Now what? So that was a complete waste of time then. Well, well. Oh. A little mouse has got lost on our turf. Uh oh. You're not only inquisitive, you're also stupid. What gave you the crazy idea to come onto my turf? Your turf is this warehouse? I. I had no idea. Your turf? That's news to me. For a guy who has no idea, you've been doing a fair bit of poking around. My men saw you staking out the Hawkins warehouse. Is that against the law? I'm no idiot, detective. I'll tell you how things work around here. I decide who comes in and who stays out. And anyone who doesn't respect my rules, I punish them. Please don't. I'm just a detective. Uh, I guess we can try this? You asked for it. Uh oh! 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 Well, we got fucked Get up. Get this Joker out of here. He might have a little trouble walking on his own. Maybe I should oh. have tried to attack? I'm getting careless. I didn't see that coming. If I want to get into this warehouse, I'm going to have to deal with her. Oh, come on. Really? If it's not one thing, it's another. Seriously? All right, lady. You oh, listen and you oh, listen oh, here oh, real good and another whatnot. Break. One of those... Hey, Mitchell. A drink for our new friend. I owe you. You don't know how to fight, but at least you've got guts. Thanks? Yeah. Aching guts. Huh. I've got them too. But you don't hear me whining like a pooch who's lost its leash. You didn't back down. Something that I respect. So understand by that. If I catch you again, you'll carry a more permanent reminder of our encounter. I just Tell need me, in the warehouse. What brings you to Darkwater? Tell the truth. I'm investigating the deaths of the Hawkins family. It's very nice of you to tell me the truth so openly. But it's also really stupid of you. You really don't seem to know the area. I Let me give you a little advice. You would help me. If you want to survive more than a day in this rat hole, avoid talking about them to the first people you meet. <sighs> I need help. I need to get into the Hawkins warehouse. You're out of luck. It's on my turf. It's precisely for that reason that I've come to see you. Are you pulling my leg? Um, why would I have taken that risk? Think it over. I've seen what you're capable of. And you didn't miss me. I accept the compliment. Well, I see you're serious. To be honest, as long as it doesn't interfere with my business, I don't care. See, now we're talking. But I'll go with you. To make sure you don't stick your nose into things that don't concern you. Fine, fair Sounds fair. honest to me. I'm not finished. If I do that for you, if I let you onto our turf to conduct your little affairs, you'll be indebted to me. And I guarantee that I always collect on what I'm owed. Think okay. about it. I help you, you'll owe me a favor in return. Do you accept? Do I have much of a choice? Do I have a choice? <laughs> oh, we always have one, detective. 
Do we? Or is this like some Bioshock thing Follow where it's me. the illusion of Nobody choice? questions your authority here. I was given to believe that Fitzroy stood up to you. That dope tried to save face in front of his sailors. They revere their brave captain as they do their old statues. But sooner or later, all statues get buried in bird shit. And nobody cares. And the police? They do nothing to stop you? The local cops? The cops drink like everyone else, sweetheart. They know where their interests lie. Apart from that pig-headed Bradley. I don't know whether to admire his stubbornness or to have pity on him. Bradley, that's the one right there that the people are complaining to about the whale. I know this because I stopped to talk to him during one of the parts that I cut out. It wasn't anything noteworthy, so I didn't leave it in. Oh, see, now they've parted. Means that we'll probably get to go through since she's with us. We saw this guy poking around here. It's fine. He's with me. Oh. Okay. Alright, yep. Let's do this. Okay, we're in. I'm in. Thank you for your help. Now what? Where do I go? What do I do? I guess I should probably stick with her so she doesn't think I'm being s snoopy. Although I am being snoopy. Ooh. Oh, that ladder's broke. Be a gentleman and move that for me. Ah, of course. Okay. Oh, we gotta go in here, huh? After you. Oh, she's picking the lock for me. That's how it's Wait. done. Do I still need to hold your hand? Or do you think you'll get by on your own now? I'm Don't good. Don't overdo it. Good. In that case, I'll leave you. I've done enough mothering for now. I agree. Sounds good to me. In we go. Oh, this place stinks. What well, is the connection between this place and the Sarah Hawkins case? And it. Oh, oh. To enter reconstruction scene, hold L2 and R2? What is that, like some Batman stuff? Okay, reconstruction scene. What have we here? We got hidden what items. Could he Parisian. Who might keep a news clipping about Sarah Hawkins? Okay. Can't sleep. I know how that feels. Who has enough money to buy painkillers, but stays in a place like this? It smells as bad as it looks. Lots of bones and intestines from animals, I'm assuming? Ooh, psychology. Someone treasures this crumpled picture to the point of sleeping with it. Huh. So someone's still been sleeping here. What happened here? Somebody punched the mirror, it looks like. And, oh good, another creepy painting. Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings? Probably. Okay, that's everything. New clue memorized. Hawkins warehouse. Okay, so now that I've done that... God, that's creepy. This place is trying to be unnerving with the music and the chains rattling. But I do believe... That's everything, so I guess we can leave now. Uh, someone has settled in here. Uh-oh. And whoever it is has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. Is there anyone in there? Yeah, me. Yo, don't move. Detective Why Pierce, didn't we leave? I told you to stay away from this warehouse. Um, let's team up. Someone, uh, the case is far from be. Uh, let's team up. It's clear that you knew the victims. I'm sorry to dig up bad memories. I can still see the poor child lying burned on the floor of their drawing room. We had to tear him off. The marks must still be there. They're in my mind anyway. It's horrendous. 
I'm going to need your experience to bring him justice, Officer Bradley. Can you explain what this painting is doing? Yes, please. This strange portrait. Wait, I know it. Oh? It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. Oh. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene. Interesting. I'd like to go and see the mansion. Oh, great. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? <sighs> I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Come on. My car's parked down the way. So we're going to take your car? Andrews, would you please shut the door? And open your eyes, damn it. This guy went right under your nose. Actually, I went around the back. There was a different door. God damn it. Her again. This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down Damn. there. Why you? Come on, keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Damn. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion now? She just threatened I thought I'd straightened officer. you out, mister. <coughs> I am disappointed, but we'll meet again. Is it far, this mansion? Someone's watching us. Look behind you, at the top of the ridge. You see the building? Yeah, that's far. Damn. That's the Hawkins mansion. Come on, we got some driving to do. Chapter 3, Garden of the Hawkins Mansion. Pierce managed to get into the warehouse. The place, thought to be abandoned, revealed some surprises. Signs of recent occupation, as well as a partly charred painting. Interrupted in his searching by Officer Bradley, Pierce convinced him to join his investigation. The police officer is willing to drive the detective to the Hawkins Mansion. Welcome to Spooksville. Ah, I hear that breathing. Ah, that was from the perspective of whatever was just watching us. Ooh, that made me unnerved for sure. Well, here we are, Hawkins Mansion. <laughs> uh, we're in for it. The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. Winchester? Why is the caretaker still here? Seriously, why? I would have abandoned this place. <laughs> He's clearly not doing any gardening. You know... Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. <clears throat> Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family. So he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way he's still watching over them. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? I might have another question or two. Uh, anything I should be wary of? Yeah. I prefer to be prepared if there's going to be trouble. It's a wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> Somehow Could he I be a problem? doubt that. Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Hmm. Though he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee. If you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go. Right? All right, one more thing. You know the police... You're uh, the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Anything else? Nope, I think we're good. Night falls quickly here. 
And I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you. If only to reassure Silas. Okay, well that gives me some reassurance as well, for now. Why not? You can help. Right. Let's go. But... I think that's going to go ahead and be where we end this episode. So now we've hit the creepy mansion and I get a feeling that in the next episode, we're going to start to see some stuff. So anyways, let me know what you think so far in the comments down below. What are your thoughts on the knife chicken, Officer McFriendly here? I'd be genuinely curious to hear your opinions and such. And as always, thank you all so much for watching and I will catch you possibly on another day, definitely at another time, and likely in another video. Okay, goodbye.